Video editing is time consuming, technically complex, frustratingly difficult, or does it have to be? Descript is a revolutionary way of editing. I've been editing for 12 years and Descript allows me to edit specific videos four times faster than regular editors like CapCut, Premiere and Resolve. And it's important to pick an editor that allows you to get the job done fast and well. Descript is the right tool for most people, but Descript does have some major flaws and they've personally costed me and my video production company thousands of dollars in labor because of some behind the scene glitches. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down Descript's strengths and weaknesses so you can be confident if it's the right editor for you. So without further ado, let's get into it. And the first thing I really need to bring up is the way that Descript is revolutionary. So if you look at your traditional video editors, they work on what's called timeline editing. So you get your video, you get your audio and you line them up and then you kind of put your cut here and your cut here and you cut through in a very traditional way. And this is really good at visual styles of editing. But with the advent of social media becoming bigger and bigger in the world, a lot more spoken dominant content is coming onto the market. So we're talking podcasts, people talking to each other with the visuals becoming a secondary factor to the importance of the video. And that's where Descripts really come in to revolutionize the game. So instead of using a timeline editor down here, they now use a word editor. And what's a word editor, you may ask? Well, simply put, let me just show you how this text to video editor works. So when I click here, I've got my word around this beautiful, and I press play. Beautiful. Mm. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, so that's expert personas. Then there's also cult. Now, let's just say Rob here, he says beautiful, mm, I love it. Maybe we're feeling like that's too much. Like maybe you just want him to give one compliment, not two. Well, this is how easy it is to fix. We can simply highlight the second compliment here, hit backspace, and now we can hit play. Beautiful. Yeah, so that's expert persona. Yep, done. That's how easy it is to use the text editor. But the word editor does not stop here. So if I just take this back, maybe I'm not sure if I want to delete this. Well, if I hit the control or command key plus the backspace, it strikes through it. Now when I hit play. Free instantly. Beautiful. Yeah, so that's the video is edited, but I can still see the text in this word timeline here. What's really great about this is a lot of the times when we're doing these text heavy edits, we don't know if we want to delete something or keep it and we want to play with it. This is a really non-destructive way of testing out edits. And it's so intuitive and user-friendly. Anyone with zero experience using a video editor can try it out. Just because I've mentioned that Descript is predominantly a spoken editor doesn't mean it's not capable of doing some pretty cool visuals. If I was to highlight this text here, I can now add something called fancy captions. And we get this. Beautiful. Yeah, so that's expert personas. Then there's also follow-up prompts. With the advent of TikTok and Reels, putting text on video is becoming a more and more in-demand task. And Descript does it automatically. So one of the biggest things that comes up when you're editing podcasts like this is how time consuming they can be. This is a 45 minute conversation between me and Rob. One of the biggest things is cutting between people. One of the great features that Descript's added is the detect speaker function. So simply put, I can go up here to where my video file is stored and I can click detect speakers. You can either say unsure and Descript will do its best to figure out, or if you know how many, just click the number. While this is loading, I really need to emphasize why this is so cool. So we reviewed Autopod last week and it was going viral because it could auto cut between different speakers like that. It was editing a 45 minute podcast in seconds. But the problem was, is that for this to work, you needed two audio files because it needed separate audio files for each speaker. Now, a lot of people, especially if you're looking at Descript, usually don't have these multi-cam with multiple audio recording setups. Usually we've got a single Google Meets or a Zoom recording and it's all one video file. Now Descript is an actual AI algorithm that listens to the tone of voices to detect who's speaking. And guess what? It can auto cut to whoever is speaking if you set it up right. So yes, you can have that Google Meets recording, that Zoom recording and you can auto cut between speakers using Descript. And that is an insane time-saving feature. So just to finish up now, let's show you how Detect Speakers actually works. So when I go here, it goes multiple speakers detected. I just hit identify. Now I get to listen to some voices. Sure thing. Do you mind if we put this on pause for two minutes and I'll load it up? Okay, 
So this one here is me, so I can just put my name in here. So this is Orson, and the other person is Rob. Now, take your eyes over here. It's actually color coded the entire 45 minute timeline based on who's speaking. This is a huge time saving feature if you're looking to snippet content. Usually it's of a specific person, and this just allows you to find it so quickly. Also, at the same time, like I was saying before, we can simply go here and go add scenes by active speaker. And now Descript's going to auto cut between whoever is actually speaking. I've used this on about 16 episodes of different podcasts and it works flawlessly. It's a fantastic feature. And again, only have to use Google Meets, Zoom. You don't need a whole fancy multicam setup or a Riverside account, which is quite costly. Now, another great feature that makes Descript really simple to use, especially for beginners, is it's got what's called a hybrid storage solution. Now, what's beautiful about this is that there's usually two styles of storage solutions with video editors. You have what's called a local storage solution, where it references local video files. Now, the issues with this is that if you don't organize your video files properly or you accidentally delete something, the whole program buggers out and you've got an unusable video edit. So you've got to be very organized with your video files if you want a final product. Now, going on to the other solution, a cloud storage solution, this, you don't have to worry about losing anything. You put something in the editor, it uploads it to the cloud, and then whether you're on your phone or your computer, it'll re-download it again and you can start editing with it, or you just edit directly from a web browser. The issue with a cloud storage solution is that media files are huge, and using a browser to edit can be quite unresponsive, so you end up having a very slow experience and a very painful experience when it comes to editing. Now, Descript, in all their genius, came up with the hybrid storage solution. Simply put, you drag a video file into Descript, it'll make a copy on your computer and put a copy in the cloud, so you get that hyper-responsive editing speed and you also get the backup of the cloud so you can go on any other computer, start using it instantly. So again, it makes managing media so simple. And if this all sound overwhelming and confusing to you, it means you should probably check out Descript. So another cool feature that was released in Descript is called the Studio Enhancer. I just want you to have a listen to the voice quality of me and Rob. Beautiful. Yeah, so that's expert personas. Then there's also follow-up prompts. So a lot of people, they'll write a prompt. You can probably hear a background noise, a little hmm sound. What's cool is I could actually just take this audio here, go down to audio effects, and I'm just gonna hit studio sound. And here is the enhanced audio. Beautiful. Yeah, so that's expert personas. Then there's also follow-up prompts. So a lot of people, they'll write a prompt. And and so you can immediately tell all that air conditioning and digital noise has disappeared. If you're using a less than high quality microphone, it will make it sound more studio-like. But if your voice does not sound good, you're not using a studio microphone and it sounds quite echoey or distorted, Descript's audio enhancer will make it sound a little better, but it comes out quite robotic very quickly. So if that's the case, I would highly recommend you look at the Resolve AI voice enhancers as those things are pretty much black magic when it comes to making voices sound better. Now, another thing I will mention about Descript is they actually use Google's voice detection software to transcribe all the audio that's put into them. And it's pretty accurate. If you're using a good mic, I get anything from 98 to 99% accuracy. So something like Rev would give me the same quality transcript and it would cost me $90, but here it's practically the subscription cost of 20 bucks a month. So if you start editing quite a few videos, this ends up becoming a massive money saving feature really quickly. But there are two caveats to that. One, you do need to have a good quality microphone and two, you need to be articulating quite well. If you start mumbling or whispering or talking over your words, being unsure of yourself right now and going like this, it's not going to do a good transcription at all, in which case you probably need to use a human transcriber like Rev.com. But don't get too excited about Descript yet. It's not all rainbows and sunshine. I'm gonna start talking about some of the personal problems I've had with it. So first thing I'm gonna say is word-based editors are typically very hard to add visuals to. And I'm talking anything more complicated than slapping an image or B-roll on top. If you wanna start talking about transitions or color grades, Descript's really quite a slow program to do this. And at the same time, if the video edits get complicated, they can glitch out quite easily. And I'm gonna talk about that a bit later as well. But the main point is if you want some extremely awesome visually grabbing things such as shorts on TikTok, which is highly competitive in the visual grabbiness of the whole platform, then yeah, you need to look at something like CapCut Premiere or Resolve 
because Descript really just lacks the features to create those kind of visuals. But again, if you're doing simple things like webinar presentations, professional videos, podcast edits, perfectly fine for that. One of the things that got me really excited about Descript and what got me heavily invested in the beginning was its collaboration features that they promised and never delivered. So I've got two licenses to Descript and everything was awesome and beautiful until I bought that second license. As soon as I brought an assistant in, we both started experiencing glitches. We had blackout screens and nothing would sync up properly and many nights of calling, headaches and heartaches. It's cost me and my company quite a lot of money in lost man hours. The only thing I can liken this to is that actual hybrid storage solution where it's doing a local and cloud storage. While it provides awesome convenience, the second you bring a second computer in, something causes everything to just collapse and break. Now, the solution I've come up with in the end is that we have a rule now that only one person uses Descript. And if we have to work collaboratively, we'll export the Descript project to a more professional editor like Premiere or Resolve. So something I really also like about Descript is the fact that you can export the timeline into your professional editor of choice. Simply put, you just go up to publish, export, timeline, and then choose your format here. Now, there isn't one for Resolve, but I do manage to make it work by exporting a Final Cut Pro X and then putting that into Resolve. Works like a charm. Sometimes it does glitch out, in which case you will need Premiere. So for your Resolve users, if you do not have a Premiere or a Final Cut license, I would actually suggest you avoid using this technique here. So another thing that might make you not want to buy Descript is that both Premiere and Resolve have actually released their own voice to text detection softwares. Now, the reason why I'm still talking about Descript is what they have is nowhere near comprehensive to Descript, but they're quickly catching up. And they are also far more stable as far as software goes, allowing for collaborative features like I just mentioned. I would highly recommend you keep your eyes on these programs if you're using Descript because Descript may become obsolete one day. Look, another deal breaker, if you're editing podcasts, a lot of them go for more than two hours and Descript has a tendency completely breaks if anything goes longer than an hour and a half. Most podcasts, I will admit, seem to be 45 minutes or less, but styles like the Joe Rogan podcast or name any other major big podcast here can go for three hours more often than not. And anything above that two hour mark completely breaks inside of Descript and just you get stability issues, glitches. And again, I'm not sure what's happening here, but for some reason Descript just can't handle juggling that amount of length of footage at once. So do keep that in mind. And if you are using something like that, then I highly recommend you check out using Autopod, which I've done over here. And another thing, and this is again, going into a very similar theme here, Descript can't handle complicated setups. So another thing is that with Descript's multicam setups, it can't handle more than eight layers of visuals. Now, this is important if you're using something like Riverside because you can quickly go over eight layers very quickly. And the way this would work is, say you have two people recording in Riverside, every time you stop and start a screen recording, which can happen quite often, it adds another layer. And all that means is that if you did seven stop starts on a screen record, you'd have nine layers and immediately Descript will break and glitch out and that becomes a problem. Now, the solution I've actually come up with this in the end was to put this into Premiere, organize it a bit, then put it into Descript. But again, it becomes such a massive time consuming waste. And with the release of something like Autopod, I think that if you're doing anything complicated, you should highly look at using the Premiere Autopod setup instead of Descript. And finally, and this one's more for people who have high profile video content. So especially things like lawyers who are legally bound to make sure that their video content is safe and secure and not put in the wrong hands. Anyone in legal or high-end professions or protected industries, you can't actually put your audio and video content in servers outside your country a lot of the times. That's the case here in Australia. So security is a big thing and Descript doesn't offer that. Every time you put a video into Descript, it has to go to the cloud storage solution. And the reason for that is that Descript can't transcribe a video unless it's been put into the cloud. Now, if that is a concern for you, you don't want your video files and audio files being unsecurely shared around, then I highly recommend you check out using Resolve because in its latest update with the new voice to text feature it has, everything stays offline and in your local machine. You don't need to connect to the internet. You don't need to upload anything to the cloud. It just works. And it's the only solution that does that. Now, overall, is Descript worth it for you? I think Descript's really good at creating clean video edit styles. So anything with simple visuals and you just wanna make sure that they're short, sharp, and punchy, 
it's a fantastic tool, especially for people who don't want to get into editing as a proper profession. It's really a no brainer option if that's you. If you're more of a traditional editor and you do this full time, Descript is a great tool to have as a second editor, something that can edit your rough cuts four times faster than normal but I do not recommend using it as your predominant one. As far as Descript's price goes, I think it's a bargain if you're editing at least 20 minutes worth of final video every month. The amount of time you save with its non-traditional approach is awesome, but with Resolve and Premiere releasing similar updates, it'll be important to keep your eyes on them as they are the most stable products and may make Descript obsolete one day. Now, if only there was a channel that could keep you up to date with this technology. But if you're looking for a video editor that's free, then you should definitely check out CapCut. It's got your fancy titles and it's just as easy to use as Descript. Definitely a recommend it. Thank you so much for watching this. I really enjoy making these and I hope you did too. And until then, I will catch you around.